Hello, sports fans, baseball fans, and Stratomatic fans alike out there. Today, this is my annual look at the Providence Grays, my Providence Grays Stratomatic team in the Elmwood Stratomatic Baseball League. Now, I've done several sims with the team, and by the way, I even made a little packet for it, just like I did for other teams, you know, like the real teams. Uh, but I've done some sims. I've talked to some other guys who have done some sims, like the commissioner. And it looks like it's going to be a good year for the grades. We um, should definitely be a winning team, and we may even make the playoffs. The problem with the making the playoffs part is that I'm in a division full of 27 Yankees. So, you know, it's not going to be easy. Let's just put it like that. But we are here and we're going to take a look at my team. So why don't you come along and we'll take a look and see what they're like. The first thing we're going to do is look at the DH and that is J.D. Martinez who uh, had a lot of home runs last year. All right, I don't know if he had a lot, but let's take a look at it. But uh, I mean, that's my DH. So uh, let's see. He had 28 home runs. That's not really a lot. For 570 at bats, he had 42 doubles. Uh, there's the card right there, if you can see that. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But he is going to be the uh, the DH for our team this year. And so, let's take a look at the catchers. Okay, so here are the catchers. Tucker Barnhart will do a lot of the catching, especially the defensive catching. Uh, but we will have Yerman Mercedes playing against left-handers. I got Yerman Mercedes, funny enough, in the 18th round. It was a 20 round draft and I got Mercedes in the 18th round. And as we go on with this, I want you to think of something that's gonna be kind of funny to you. But I was watching, there's a guy in our league that's a, a, a Mets fan. And when he's at a loss for who to take, he takes Mets. And I'm like, you know, I don't take White Sox just because I'm a White Sox fan. But as we go on, We'll just see how many White Sox are on this team. Uh, right now, we're counting one, Mercedes. But, uh, well, let's just say it's going to get a little worse. All right, so here is my infield. Going from first all the way over to third base, you have Eric Hosmer at first base, Jose Altuve at second, Tim Anderson, that's two White Sox. And uh, at shortstop, Timmy A, TA7. And then at third base, I'm going to platoon Castro and Wendell. And I also drafted Santiago Espinal off the Toronto Blue Jays. And you can expect him to get some playing time. But we'll see because in the Sims I run, well, Wendell's a third base one. And he is a left-handed batter who hits better against... Uh, right-handed pitching, and because of those various factors, he will play third base against right-handed pitchers. And Castro, actually Castro isn't bad against right-handed uh, pitching, but he was a little better even against left-handed pitching. And when I say he was a little better, I mean he was really good against left-handed pitching. So he's going to play a lot too. Espinal, we'll see. I mean, he only had 222 at-bats, I think, something like that, and he did get injured at some point during the season, which derailed the rest of his season. So he can't play full year for me anyway. Uh, both Wendell and Castro could, uh, but they're going to platoon, so they're not even going to have to play an entire season. But I, another thing you're going to see as we go on in this video, you're going to see I have a ton of third base because I really kind of overdid it at third base. But let's take a look at the outfield. 
All right, so here is the outfield. With some of the outfield bench players mentioned, but I didn't have enough room to put all of the pictures of everybody. Picture show, so I didn't have enough to do that for everyone. But from left going around right, you have Robbie Grossman, who for some reason was a speed demon last year and got, was a stealing A and stole, I guess, for the current day a lot of bases and then you got michael taylor in center field he'll be the starting center fielder he's not going to platoon with anybody he doesn't hit very well but he is a center field one with like a negative three or four arm so he's going to play every day and help that pitching staff and help me suppress runs even if he doesn't join in on helping to get runs and then in right field you're going to have austin hayes and I expect him to platoon off and on. Uh, so um, you got, uh, but you also have Gavin Sheets. You've got Taylor Ward. You got Jackie Bradley Jr. And then you got uh, Adam Engel. Can't see that real well because it's down there in the dirt section. But yes, those are also players that can help in the outfield at various times and in various places in the outfield so um my outfield's looking good uh let's take a look at the starting rotation now all righty so you got the starting rotation here going from front to back you got gosman kevin gosman my main man been with the grays for several years even when he was bad but this past year he was very good uh ranger suarez who i just drafted got him in the first round 13th pick i got ranger suarez that was crazy uh alex wood the third starter in the uh rotation and those three spots of the rotation are solid it's going to be gosman suarez wood then down here near the back you get a little sketchy because i do have some other I guess I could have a couple of other guys that can be in the rotation. But you got Yarbrough, Ryan Yarbrough, uh, John Gray, and at the very back there, John Lester. And John Lester, of course, with a terrible card, but I drafted him because this was his last year, and I wanted to give him a ride off into the sunset. And we have a guy on our in our league, a good friend of mine, Chris Dufour, been on the channel a lot of times. He is a diehard Red Sox fan, and I certainly expect by the end of the year he's going to trade for John Lester. I mean, if he's watching this, all right, Doof, are you going to do it? Maybe you're not, but uh, I would suspect near the end of the season, especially when he wraps things up, as he will in his division, he may make a trade to get Lester and finish uh, Lester's uh, season on his team. We'll see if that happens. But that, you know, there's the rotation. Very good. And now we will take a look at all the remaining guys, the bullpen, the bench, you know, just the guys that we haven't really encapsulized in um, our discussion. All right. So here we go. Uh, that You can read the names right there. The bullpen, we've got Drew Pomerantz. Tanner Scott out there from the from the uh, Orioles. Uh, Jake Cousins, Jake McGee, Lucas Sims, he'll probably be my closer. Uh, Yasmero Petit or Pettit, Petit probably. He's going to be out there. Ross Detweiler. Ross Detweiler, I drafted him, brought him back to the Grays. If you recall, he was on the Grays last year. And uh, last year he was good, but not a great card this year. So we'll see. But he's going to be my, you know, the game is lost. Either that or the game, we're kicking ass in the game. And he's going to be that guy that comes in, you know, in those situations. And then Alex Vizia, who I believe was on the LA Dodgers this past year. And then rounding out the bench, and you know, maybe there's another guy or two I missed in here in all of this discussion like I don't have all of the outfielders listed here because I had them back on the outfielder page but you got uh, Jed Lowry Longoria who was on the team before the draft 
and pretty much got forced out because I went crazy drafting, um, you know, drafting third baseman. Uh, Escobar Jimenez, uh, Jose Rondon, and Hedges. And by the way, we're supposed to go back and count the um, White Sox. Uh, Jimenez is another one. And when we were doing the outfield, it was um, um, uh, Adam Engel was one. So, yeah, there's a lot of White Sox on this team. And Detweiler was a former White Sox player, but that's not why he's on the team. He's just on the team because I like him. And something about him I like. And maybe just because he was on the White Sox, I don't know. So there's my team. What do you guys think of this team? I think it's pretty good. Um, again, we are in a 20-team league, so pretty much every team has a chance at being an all-star team. So it's going to be tough. It is not going to be easy to win in this league. But, um, you know, I like what we got. So uh, leave a comment. Let me know. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Um, and uh, for right now, I guess that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.